Hi everyone, I am back again with a second video this week and I'm here this week or today to share a layout with you for the cut shop and I'm using our new get to the point background cut file. This is one of the new cut files in the shop this week and I'm using it with the finders keepers collection from Amy Tangerine and so you can see here I have a paper there to the left that I'm using for the inspiration for my color scheme and so right now I just have the cut file layered over some white cardstock and I'm making some marks so that I know where I want to paint because I'm going to use the acrylic paint there to the right hand side to add some color to the white cardstock and I just drew some lines out that I could follow to add those paint colors and I'm doing orange, pink, yellow, blue, and teal and so like I said I just took those colors from the pattern paper for the Amy Tan collection and I don't add a lot of pattern paper I wanted the paint to be the color um, behind the cut file and I'm not being too careful about completely filling in the color. I want it to be kind of um, have some spaces that are white space there. And so I'm just going to get those added. And you can see I accidentally put my brush for the yellow and the pink paint. Um, make sure you don't do that. <laughs> I actually had five foam brushes just for the purpose of having a different brush for each color and not having to clean it. And totally stuck it in the pink. So <laughs> um, this is a good way to save time if you're using paint and you don't want to have to hop up to clean your brush for each color you can just grab the foam brushes which are relatively cheap at Michaels and then once you're done adding all your paint then you can go in and clean all those out so I'm just adding the last color here and then I'll show you what the cut file looks like over the colors and I do sit it aside for just a while to dry you want to make sure your paints dry and so now I have the cut file layered back over the painted paper and I just kind of stitch that down off camera I added some stitching to several of the large arrows just to adhere that to the white cardstock and so now I'm layering my photo over one of the little die cut papers from that pattern paper that I used for my color scheme I just wanted a little something to help it stand out there and it's going to go in the center of the arrows and I'm just going to add one more pattern paper behind the word noted because I wanted that to stand out a little more from the background and once I get that I'm going to add some pop dots to my photo because I want it to have a little bit of dimension and I like to add the pop dots a little more toward the inside center of the photo so that way if I want to tuck some embellishments or anything under the sides that way they won't bump into the adhesive and so they'll slide under the picture easily so I've got my photo there in place and now I'm going to add my title and the title is going to be under the bridge um, sorry if you get that song stuck in your head. I've been singing it ever since I did the layout. So <laughs> now you can join me in singing it. Um, so I'm using this thin teal thicker set for the first part. I'm going to do the words under and the in this one. And then the word bridge will be from the other thicker set there to the left, which is one that I really like. I'm pretty sure that I'm probably going to need another pack of that one. I really like the font and the way it has the different colors on each letter. And I like to mix my thickers, so I definitely had to use both of these for the title on this layout. So I'm just going to grab those off and just get those there under the bottom. I had to do the, the title under the photo since it's under the bridge, so it had to go under the picture. <laughs> and I like this graph paper because it gives you a good base for lining up your, your thickers or your letter stickers, so that helped a lot in getting my title down. And so now what I'm going to do, since I have um, kind of a rainbow look with the different colors, I'm going to add coordinating embellishments around the page. And these are some of the rubber embellishments and rubber words that are kind of new to um, the Amy Tan collections. And I really like the way these look. Um, I, I ended up having to add some extra adhesive behind mine because I think since it's so hot and humid here, um, it kind of melted the adhesive a little bit that originally comes on those. So I added just a little bit extra glue to make sure that those didn't slip around on the page. And I wanted to add some contrast, so I just used some black color shine to add some splatters. And I covered up my photo to make sure that I did not get any ink on there. And miraculously, I did not. This is the original photo. I did not have to do a photo reprint. If it would have had um, people in the picture, I can assure you that I probably would have managed somehow to get black color shine on it and I would have had to reprint it. But since it was a bridge, it did not. <laughs> so I was thankful for that. And so I'm just continuing to add some embellishments around the page in those coordinating colors. 
and I really like I said the little rubber embellishment so I'm adding several of those they they coordinate perfect with each of the colors that I used so I'm just finding spots around the page to put those and I kind of look around to see what else I found um, some fun arrows too in the bits pack and so those go well with the die cut arrows and so I added some of those in and just several of the other pieces that I got from the bits pack some hearts and the arrows and just some little triangle pieces and I also do add a couple of the, uh, the puffy stickers there and off camera I do go back once I'm finished and I add some um, enamel dots also in coordinating colors um, I just wanted to finish it off with some enamel dots and I like the texture that those add and it kind of filled in some spots where I felt like I maybe needed a few more embellishments and so I'm getting close to finishing this one up and if you want to check out the cut files we have you can visit the cut shop I'll leave the link to the shop in the show notes and you'll also see the other sets that are available this week here at the end of the video along with the layout and some close-ups so thanks for joining me today and I hope to see you next time